This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.6. Instructors can now create and schedule posts ahead of time in the Activity Feed widget that appear to learners at a specified date and time. Once you have crafted a post in the Activity Feed, click Post Later. Set the date and time for the post to appear to learners and click Schedule Post. Then, click Save. You can also review scheduled posts. To do so, click Planned Posts, which gives you an overview of all pending communications. Click a Post Contacts menu to edit or delete it. You can now turn on a new configuration variable that allows you to set the default state of a new assignment submission folder to either hidden or visible. This feature implements PI item D4080. The new configuration variable, D2L, Tools, Dropbox, New Folder Visibility, allows you to choose the default visibility state for new assignment submission folders. To change the current default from hidden to visible, click Edit. Click the Org Value drop-down and select Visible. Then click Save. Parents are now better informed about upcoming work because Brightspace for Parents now displays upcoming quizzes that have an end date. The Upcoming Assignments widget has been renamed the Upcoming Work widget. Upcoming quizzes with an end date will now display in the Upcoming Work widget. Parents can differentiate quizzes at a glance by observing the quiz icon or the assignment type. Brightspace for Parents is now releasing with limited availability to clients in Ireland, Australia, and Singapore. Brightspace Portfolio is now available in AWS regions EU and Asia Pacific. It is not recommended that clients use both Brightspace Portfolio and ePortfolio concurrently. Instructors can now link content stored in their Google Drive or OneDrive accounts directly into the content tool. Doing so will automatically update the file's permissions to view only. The Google Drive and OneDrive options are available for activity feed, portfolio, assignments, lessons, content, and the Quick Links Picker. These features can be turned off with configuration variables D2L, Third Party, Google Drive, Enable Google Picker, and D2L, Third Party, OneDrive, Enable OneDrive Picker. From the Content tool, click Existing Activities, and select Google Drive or OneDrive. For this example, select Google Drive. The files and folders stored in your Google Drive will display. Select the file you will link to the Content tool, and click Select. Your newly added material displays at the bottom of your module in Content. Organizations using the standard data export customization will now only see section enrollment information in their exports. Administrators and instructors with the proper permissions can now change a course image directly from the My Courses widget or the existing image banner of a course. Note, the See Course Info and the Change Course Image permissions are required to access the Change Image option. Once these permissions are assigned to the appropriate roles, from the My Courses widget, click More Actions. Then, select Change Image. Choose the image from a library of existing images or upload a custom image. Instructors can now launch the Bulk Edit Exemptions page from a Grade Item or Grade Category page. From the Manage Grades page in the Grades tool, click the context menu of a grade item and select Enter Grades. A new context menu appears next to a learner's name. Click it and select Bulk Edit Exemptions to view and manage a learner's exemptions. Instructors can now link to specific locations, units, lessons, and materials in the Lessons tool using a unique URL. Instructors can now create new documents and edit or delete existing ones using the HTML editor within the Lessons tool. From within a lesson in the Lessons tool, click Add Material. Then select the New Document option. Enter a title and content.
When using the HTML editor, a Quick Links bar displays. The Quick Links bar can be docked using the open and full screen icon. Click Save to make your new material available to learners.